right. That was an agonizing decision. But, uh, I haven't slept for days. Um, wanted to make sure that I get the mix right. Wanted to also think of the future. Um, but if you watch the game on Sunday, you saw the quality of Sibulele. Mm -hmm. She doesn't only play in that position, we've played that left fullback. Um, and she's been magnificent. When we called her in and said she was going to start, she said, I'm ready. You know, she didn't show any nerves. We had some of the senior players <coughs> encouraging her, obviously, um, because it was her first cap, and she will remember that for the rest of her life. We have Bongeka coming in as a backup actor in, in the defense. Um, Koketso, who was with us in Cyprus, unfortunately um, had an injury and had an operation. Uh, she was identified at the Sassel National Championships. I was also fortunate enough to see her at the selection trials for USA um, when I had the opportunity. And then we all know the quality that Karabu brings. Um, she played against the Netherlands. And sometimes you need that little bit of energy through the young players. Sometimes you need that uh, players who have no fear. You know, you need that. And you need that som sometimes um, in the game. And during training matches, they've showed their quality um, for, for, for us all to see. And, uh, you know, you've got to give opportunities to players who raise their hands. I've said that all along. And I have to be true to my word. I've also said that the door is never closed. And Sibulele only came in for the camp against Jamaica, but she immediately showed her quality. Because it's never, ever been about me alone. It's always been about the team as a whole. Um, because we cannot do without each other, you know. Yes, I make the final selection, I make the final announcement, um, my decision, but I have a technical team, I have a support staff, and obviously the players. You know, without them, we wouldn't be here. So for us, it's a collective. You know, we cannot do it. And I think for everyone, uh, not just the group that's going, but for the whole of South Africa, it's a historic moment. I think back to our tumble, uh, and we didn't even win F1. Um, the whole country, you know, the president always says somebody comes to the stadium, uh, they might have a lot of problems at home. Uh, when the team does well, they go home and they say, we won. And for that moment, they are being happy. And that is all we want to do, is to make, to make people happy. And the fans have been magnificent. I mean, remember, we, we challenged Durban. And I'll honestly say that that was the most fans I've ever been involved in in a, in a game with, with Panyana. So they have been magnificent. So it's for everyone. It's for the coaches out there that have come before. Uh, not forgetting Joseph Nkonza. He qualified the team for the first major tournament, which was the 2012 Olympics. You have Vera 2016. You have Sassily coaches who prepare players. You have players that have come before in the national team. You have current Sassily players. I think everybody needs a pat on the shoulder. Uh, on, sorry, on the back. Everybody needs a pat um, because they all played a part, including Cecil with a fantastic preparation, and Safa and the coaches, you know, Coach Malifi, Coach Stewart, uh, Tabu, uh, Shorty and Warden, all of them, for the support, Fran, Neil, uh, Franz, for the support. You can go into their office anytime and have a chat. So it's not just about me, it's about a whole collective group. 